gyrade and ungyrade orbitals molecular orbital theory gives you the idea about gyrade and ungyrade orbitals see here about pi bonding molecular orbitals we are discussing the above one is pi and this is pi star this means this is bonding molecular orbital this is anti bonding molecular orbital in anti bonding molecular orbital there are two nodal planes this is one this is another one here only one nodal plane so come to this one so first you are going for one rotation after this rotation this minus will be going up this plus will be coming down so this is minus this is plus and again you are going for this okay now in this there is no change it is as it is that means this minus is minus only this plus will become plus first it was plus now it became minus it was minus it became plus so this is changed when it changes this is called ungyrate ungyrate orbital this is ungyrate orbital okay ungyrate orbital now coming to this one this is pi star pi star means anti bonding molecular orbital in anti bonding molecular orbital after first rotation you see this will be going up so this becomes plus it is coming down so minus this is going up so minus it is coming down so plus now again when you are rotating okay now this is coming like this na rotation this is coming here this is coming here in that case this minus this is becoming plus and now this is plus so plus this minus became minus now the first one you see plus minus plus minus minus plus minus plus so you got the same that's why this is called gerate g e r a d e gerate orbitals thank you so what you need to remember is in pi okay now sigma and pi there is a difference you can you can remember this in pi molecular orbitals okay now pi molecular orbitals when pi bond is going to form in that if it is bonding molecular orbital that becomes ungerate and anti bonding molecular orbital will become zerate in case of sigma it is reverse okay now you can remember like that